Well, the Biden administration is facing growing pressure to act more aggressively when it comes to student loan debt. Advocacy groups this time honing in on a specific group talking about uh, totally and permanently disabled borrowers. Yahoo Finance's RT Swaminathan is following that story for us. RT, what kind, uh, what kind of amount are we talking about when we talk about forgiveness? Yeah, so we got hands on new FOIA data, Freedom of Information Request submitted data by the Student Defense, one of the advocacy groups that was involved. And 818,000 borrowers are actually eligible for TPD, Total and Permanent Disability Discharge, since 2016. That's a really big number, but consider the fact that only 300,000 have actually gone on to get a full discharge on their student loan debt. That's about $8.8 .8 billion. But 517,000 borrowers are still waiting, even though they qualify. So it's really, really interesting because according to congressional law, they are entitled to a discharge because their situation is not likely to improve and they won't be able to take on higher paying jobs to pay their debt. So it's really a very strong case that these advocates are putting forward. Well, Arthi, I know you cover this space assiduously. Uh, can you broaden out the discussion here? Where are we on student loan forgiveness in the U.S.? So the debate right now is still going on about whether it's regressive or progressive. We haven't heard much from the Biden administration or the education department on whether they are doing it. So now we're sort of looking at why they are still thinking about this. And the question is whether are people with more debt going to benefit, people holding higher balances, meaning people who have higher degrees, graduate students, or low-income people who the people we are concerned about, are they going to benefit? So the debate is sort of still in the mix between academics and all these different people. So that's why it's taking some time, it seems, to get a definitive answer.